Good morning guys, today I am very excited because I have a full face of new makeup and we will test some from the drugstore, the new Catrice products and Essence, some BH Cosmetics, I finally purchased the mini palette from Pat McGrath just to test the formula, I have the new brow gel from Sephora, so a bunch of new stuff, so if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. So as you can see I am bare faced, I have only skincare on my face and let's start by prepping the lips. This is the Essence Hydra Kiss Lip Oil and I have the shade Honey Honey. And this is the orangey shade. Let's put a bit on my lips. I like the applicator, it is a bigger applicator so you get a bit more product. And this looks really good on the lips and it feels pretty hydrating and it's not sticky or something. So, so far I enjoy this one. Then Catrice released the Soft Glam Filter Fluid and I'm gonna put the shade down below because yesterday I was looking for it. I think it's number 010 or something. I will put everything in the description, the shades and uh, the names of these. And of course this wants to be a dupe of the Charlie Tilbury one so we are gonna do half and half and see if it is close enough or not so I'm gonna put the Catrice one on this side and the Charlie Tilbury on the other side and we will use this one as as primer because I have a stick foundation to put on top so I just want a bit of glow underneath this blending out very easily and as you can see it has that glow so this have potential and I think it is even cheaper than the elf one and if you are in uh, Europe this for sure is a lot easier to purchase because elf is available at least for me it is available from a beauty bay and there is a bit more expensive than in the states so Catrice is way more more accessible for me let's apply the Charlie Tilbury on the other part I have the shade too fair so this one should be just a bit a bit darker but not by a lot, so let's do exactly the same. Actually, I feel like the Catrice one is a bit more my skin tone. This one seems just a bit on the pinky side, but just by a hair. But <laughs> they look pretty similar if you ask me. Let me just show you. So this is the Catrice side with the glow and everything. It has just the tiniest coverage. I would say that the Shirley Tilbury has, again, a hair, more coverage, but you still can see my skin. But yeah, this is the Shirley Tilbury side. Let's move on with foundation. I bought the Fenty, the Fenty Is Drop Stick. This is the Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. I have the shade number 3, which right now is a perfect shade, but it will be just a bit too dark in a few weeks. But I just want to be a bit more tan if possible. So I'm going to apply this one directly on top of the primer and we can see how it looks with foundation on top as well and I'm gonna use a sponge to blend this out it's very creamy this is not a first impression actually I used it two or three more times and I like it it's not my favorite foundation but I don't have experience with stick foundations the Isrop normal foundation is not my absolute favorite one because it was uh, creating, I'm uh, spraying a sponge just to blend this out. The Isdrop normal foundation, the liquid one, was not my favorite foundation because it was peeling a bit on me. 
it wears absolutely beautiful but it was just not my favorite so I didn't repurchase it but I used it up in the project pan and it is a good foundation overall but I was curious to see if the stick one is better and in my humble opinion the application of it is easier and it looks really good on the skin but it's not that longer lasting as the liquid one foundation is done and i would say that both sides look incredible and i really like the finish of this foundation and with the glowy stuff underneath it looks really healthy and beautiful so let's move on i want to use a bit of this this is again not a first impression so more than one item that is not a first impression but i forgot about concealer so this is the catrice under eye brightener and this is the shade 10 light rose so what i'm gonna do is just apply a bit with my sponge just in here and then i'm gonna put a bit of concealer this this one is pretty good. I just like the the Sigma one a lot more, but this one is just way, way more affordable and I think you get more product. This one is pretty good as well, but you need a small quantity, otherwise it will make your concealer crease a bit. So just keep that in mind, apply a small quantity and your under eyes will look pretty good. I'm using now the Too Faced concealer. I don't have a new concealer to test concealer is done and i set the middle of my face as well with the um, huda beauty loose powder and i left a bit of powder under the eyes just to bake a bit let's move into cheeks and for that i bought the new melted sun cream bronzer from catrice sadly the lightest shade that was available on the site where i purchased this from is the shade 20 beach babe so um Let's hope that this is blendable and I could just shear it a bit because otherwise this is pretty dark. So I'm going to use a sponge and just dip it in here and hope for the best. And just apply it directly like this. Okay, it seems that I can pick a small amount from here and just blend it in here so we are good to go and it's actually pretty blendable so it is okay even even though this shade is a bit too dark technically for me it seems pretty sheer and buildable which i really like in the bronzer actually with this one i think i'm almost recommending you to go one shade up because I mean it doesn't I, I build it up and it doesn't look like that so that is a good sign but as well maybe just go one shade up because this is a good shade for me luckily but uh, yeah so it's not building up to this shade I mean probably if you apply like a like five layers or six maybe we will get this color but like this it looks pretty natural for me so i do recommend you to go one shade up with a brush i'm gonna take just a bit of powder because the rest of the cheek products are powders so i want to set this bronzer with the smallest amount of powder for the highlighter and blush, I have these two from BH Cosmetics. The blush is Cheek Wave Powder Blush and I have the pink shade. Mine came a bit smooshed, so I just pressed it back together. It looks decently okay now. And the highlighter, it is the shade Sun Chaser and it looks really promising. And I heard some good stuff about this, so let's just apply them because I am pretty excited. I'm gonna take the blush first and I hope this one is not that pigmented because it's picking up a lot. A lot of product, as you can see, I'm just tapping my brush a bit. 
because I am a bit scared. Yes, this seems pretty pigmented, so be careful, just um, take a small amount and uh, tap your brush, because otherwise it's just a lot of pigment and a lot of product. It is like a satiny blush, which I really enjoy. I don't like a powder, flat matte a blush that is not my journey. Usually I like something a bit more shimmery, but this one is just a bit too pigmented in my eyes. So, so yeah, that is not the best, but maybe it is because it came just a bit broken. So I am picking up a lot of product because of that, but it is blending out pretty easily. I'm gonna go over with my sponge a bit. So let's apply a bit of the highlighter and just on here. I heard a lot of good stuff about the highlighter and I can see why. The highlighter for sure is a hit and I'm losing my voice. What is happening? Yes, the highlighter is, is for sure very, very glowy, glassy, but not chunky. I really like it. This one, this one is a hit. The blush, it looks nice. It is a beautiful color and it has a beautiful shine, but it's a bit too pigmented for my for my taste. I like a more buildable uh, blush. We're gonna move to brows next. I'm gonna apply the NYX pencil. This is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna just put a bit into my brows because I have a new brow gel that I want to test and I want a bit of pencil down first. So pencil is down, I'm just blending it a bit with the spoolie and the product that I purchased is the Sephora Tint and Volume Brow Gel. I have the shade Midnight Brown and let me show you the applicator because that's the reason I bought it, because it is tinted, so I don't have that. And as well, look at this. It's so tiny. I really enjoy this kind of tiny applicators. So let's just put a bit in here. So I bought this product because I wanted something a bit tinted. And as well, I wanted to see what Sephora brand can do. I put a bit of my skin, that was my bad. I wanted to see what Sephora brand can do in the brow category. I want to see if they fall, if they do, I will probably apply my Too Faced brow gel right on top and that is totally okay. Mostly I want this for the volume and for the, for the color and it is a really great color for my brows. So the brows look really great. I really like it. I was a bit too messy. I need to be a bit careful. Even even though the brush is that small, you still need to be a bit careful, but they look pretty fluffy and pretty nice. So I'm gonna leave them like this and see if they are falling down. I will apply the Too Faced brow gel next. I am just prepping priming sorry I'm just priming the eyelids with my favorite uh, primer this is the Sigma one and we will just do a quick and easy look with the Pat McGrath Midnight Voyage palette the smallest palette in the world and is this one look how tiny it is like it is my, it is the size of my palm. It is very small, but I think it will be pretty great for travel and it has a mirror as well. So that is nice. It looks like this is not a new palette. So I'm sure that you already saw it, but I just want to play a bit with it. So I'm going to start with this one. I was very curious about the Pat McGrath formula. And the bigger palettes are just too expensive and not my color story. 
So I decided to purchase this one because I like the color story and it is a smaller one. And it was available at our Sephora with the liner and the mascara. So we are gonna test those as well today. So I was excited because I want to test more from Pat McGrath. I just have a blush which I really, really enjoy. But I wanted some eyeshadows as well and I'm using the brownie shade. This is called I'm this is called the number two shade because I'm not pronouncing that. <laughs> it is the only brown shade in the palette so we are good to go but it looks pretty smooth and pretty nice. I heard that the Pet McGrath formula is a lot of people's favorite so I have high expectations. So this is only one shade. It looks really nice. Let's take a smaller brush. I'm gonna use the refer number 13. The previous brush was the Sigma E25 that I really love. And I'm gonna take the darker purple and I want to see how pigmented that is. And I'm just, and I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay, it is. It is very pigmented and let's see how it builds as well so it is building up really nicely and i'm gonna go back with the first shade and just blend the edges but it looks really nice so so far i really like these mattes this palette has only these two mattes but i think you can create a really nice smoky eye with this or just put the the brownie shade in the crease as I previously did and just put a shimmer and you are done. So what I'm gonna do next is actually take this shimmer and put it all over the lid and then this one rude and then this one in the inner corner and this one on the lower lash because I need to use that that purple and I'm gonna spray these shades this is the lid one it looks pretty good and it was very creamy so let's see what pet magret can do okay it looks it looks really nice and i'm gonna put it a bit higher because i really like that and if you have creases or wrinkles or stuff like that on your eyelid try putting the shimmer a bit higher because it will look just a bit better. I'm putting the shimmery champagne in the inner part. This one is a normal shimmer I would say. Okay so this is the eye look. I really like it. It is a beautiful formula. The purple and the pink, this one. These two are a bit more special shades I would say they are more um, more sparkly and shiny this one is like a normal shimmer and nothing special about it and this one that I did not use this one in here seems like that as well like a normal shimmery shade with which those shades are useful as well in some scenarios. What I'm gonna do next is apply this pencil on the waterline. This is the Sephora 12 hour pencil and I have the shade Tiramisu which is a matte one and I'm gonna do a wing with the liner. It looks something like this. I'm gonna do that off camera because I can't focus if I am trying to film as well. And I'm gonna put some mascara as well. This is the Fetish Eyes Mascara from Pat McGrath. And I'm gonna put some lashes and I'll be right back for the lips. So these are the eyes with just mascara because I wanted to show you that as well. Uh, it looks pretty good, but I would recommend you to buy just the palette if you have the options. At our Sephora, it was available just in the kit and I was really curious about the, the palette. But if you can, purchase just the, the um, eyeshadow palette because these two were pretty dry and it was pretty hard for me to create a wing with this one and the mascara as well was pre pretty dry and I have a feeling that both of these are 
just a bit better if you are buying them separately because these seem pretty old so maybe that was a problem maybe the set was a bit older the palette is lovely i really like it so let me put some lashes on right now okay lashes are on and i really like this eye look i'm gonna remove the excess lip oil but as you can see it's still there my lips are pretty hydrated so so far so good i'm just gonna take the excess off for the lips i want to put the avh lip liner i bought it in hazelnut it looks like a lovely color and i finally purchased this one i really wanted it i do have my dream i do have the my dream palette and i really wanted the gloss this is the my dream lip gloss and i think the shade is natasha so let's just see this is a wooden pencil which is my favorite kind of lip liner so let's see this one seems lovely it's not very stiff but not very smeary either which I, which is what i like so that is lip liner done i i really enjoy it so far and let's put the lip gloss right on top these are first impressions so i am really curious how this one looks maybe not the best combo with the eyes but i do have that brown in the crease so it kind of works the gloss is very comfortable not sticky at all let me get my hair down as well and yeah this is the final look and i i kind of love it it's very sultry and dark and sexy i really like it so let's assess the situation very very quickly i would say that the two sides look pretty similar so this is a potential dupe or at least a very affordable <clears throat> alternative the cheeks look really nice so um i do enjoy this one it seems pretty easy to blend and it is not too pigmented so i do recommend you to go one shade up the blush is very beautiful so if you are trying a bit harder to blend it out because it's easy to blend out but it is a bit too pigmented but right now it looks incredible it looks really good and as you can see maybe in here it has just a bit of shine which i really like so this one is really nice but the highlighter the highlighter is a big hit it looks really great the foundation like i said is not a first impression but i'm gonna wear this one for the whole day i will maybe update you in the description box if something was wearing really great or really bad or something like that but the foundation is pretty good in general it will not probably become a favorite one but if like a stick foundation it is very easy to blend and it is wearing pretty nicely another product that i am very impressed with is the brow gel it looks really good i didn't touch them i didn't apply any of my Too faced brow gel and they are still the hairs are still up so i'm gonna check throughout the day if they are if they are down or something but i really like this one what else did i test the palette the palette is really beautiful i was i was pretty confident that i would like the formula because the formula was never a problem i heard really good stuff about it and i really like the format of this palette so i think i did a really good decision to purchase this one because like i said it is tiny and i have some really beautiful colors i do enjoy the color story and even though it's older it is what i wanted but i don't recommend you to purchase the set with the mascara and liner and the palette because the mascara and liner were disappointing really they are just too dry so i don't want to hate on them directly because they are maybe old in this set but uh, they were not great and it was pretty hard to apply the liner it is pretty crooked in there and it is because it was it was very hard to to apply it and the lips look really nice of course i'm gonna wear them a bunch of times and see 
if they are low wearing and stuff like that and i want to see as well if this lip gloss is hydrating but yeah this was everything i think i found some really good products in this one and if you liked it and you want to see more from me please subscribe and give it a like and i'll see you next time